Hi everyone, hope you're all well. So today I thought I would do uh, one of my popular three ducks in a row pieces. Um, this one here, something similar to this one. I recently um, gave one of my nieces a little kit um, which I am in the process of creating so she could recreate this herself and I was very impressed with her um, her finished product. I will be uploading photos on my Facebook if anybody would like to check it out there later on. Um, so if you'd like to um, try and create this piece, it's it's very straightforward. You just need a couple of pebbles or shells or seed glass, whatever you have. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so I have my sheet of paper here and I have a mount. So let's just pop the largest body piece here for one of our ducks. So I'm just using one of the shells I collected from my local beach here in Wexford. This is just a little pebble I'm using for the head. So I'm just going to place them randomly at the moment and can move them around as we go. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Wexford. I don't know what it's like where you are. Hope hope you're keeping safe and well. It's it's a, it's a mad time for everyone across the world really. But good time for us to slow down and take five, I guess. My five-year-old loves these pieces, especially when we start adding the colourful wellies. It's our favourite part. Okay, so just got the bones of it together there now. So our three ducks and let's see, umbrella. We'll just start placing them at the moment. We don't need umbrellas at the moment, the weather we're having, it's really nice, so long may it last. A bit of a pick-me-up for everybody. So here we go, let me just have a look at my picture here and see how we're doing. Okay, so I need to add the umbrellas I think, so we'll do the first one here first. I'm just going to move the head here and just simply add here we go. Yeah, so there's the first one. And we'll do the same for the second piece. Just a little curl on the end of the handle there. We can make this a bit longer if we need to. scrunch down in the rain and our last little fella here this is a piece of seed glass um, which I have here but again like I said you can use a little piece of whatever you have really just to resemble a shape of an umbrella yeah this cutie there we go get the head in now, I'm just going to add some eyes. I'm using a little black felt tip pen here again. These are very handy now for adding a little finer detail. Or, like I said, you can just use a marker, whatever you have to hand. So I'm just going to give a little beak here. So you can colour these in if you want. And move it back into place. There we go. And this little cutie here. Now let's see which way we'll have him looking up. I'm just going to move that out of the way in a moment and give me a bit of space. There we go. He's looking up at the sky, thinking, when is the rain going to stop? Okie dokie, so let's just straighten this one up a bit. 
I'm going to add some wellies. This is the fun part. I love this. That noise in the background is my five-year-old outside on her bike. Great that she can enjoy the sunshine. Yeah, there we go. Very simple. And the same with this one. Some booties. And the last little fella. A small little pair of wellies. And they're so cute. This piece is one of my most popular pieces, uh, which I called Grand Day. Like in Ireland here, even if it's dull and overcast, we'd still say it's Grand Day. A Grand Day, indeed. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of a bit of a splash like this. There we go. And we can do a little bit of grass. That. We just add in little details. Like I love to add a little bird in. Um, make it your own. So, colour the wellies. I'm sure everyone has markers in the house. You can do spots. Oh, this one now is seen better days. You could do little spotty coloured, pink, purple, favourite colours, black wellies, whatever you want. Be as colourful or creative as you want. If you want to get some glitter and nice glittery wellies. That's why these pieces are so unique. Like I said in my previous video, no two are the same, which makes them extra special. And they're lovely gifts for people as well. You know, it's nice to sit and take the time to make these and you could send one to your nana. You might be missing your grandparents at the moment or a friend. Or you could just keep it yourself and have it as a family little piece. If there's two, three in your family, you could give them names. Go and give this little one orange wellies. Cute as that. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of orange to the beak. This one here. I haven't stuck these. I'm just putting it together quickly here to give you an idea of how they're made. As you can see, they're, they're very simple and you can have great fun with them. Um, lovely way to spend a few hours take a break from the news and the radio I pop on YouTube and listen to relaxing music and honestly time just flies by just colour a little bit of grass here there you go so very simple um, you could Colour in some blue sky if you wanted to add a bit of blue to yourself or stick in some dried flowers at the bottom. So there we go. Grand day. Hope yours is grand one too. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.